Excellent. Okay, everyone, welcome to another episode of Temple Construction TV Show. I'm your host, David Wing, your fierce leader, a leader of all temple men, building a temple for the spirit. I have another amazing guest today. He's been rocking the thing since day one. Even before we start off, man, this guy's energy and transformation has inspired me and many men in our group. But what are we doing here? We lead men who lack faith in themselves, living destructively, and heading towards a prescription pill lifestyle. And that's our mission and, mission and focus. And what we do is lead men to build a temple for their spirit, mentally, physically, emotionally, in every area of their life. And this week's episode is an amazing superstar. He had everything you think going against him almost. And he had a wake-up call in his life. And what that doctor had told him about his health and what he had to do, the timing and the intercession came perfectly for him. And now he's living a whole new life, a whole new mindset. I want to introduce you guys to my, this week's episode, Mr. Keith Wynn. How you doing, buddy? Hey, brother. Doing good. Doing very well. Actually, better. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Good to hear. Look, man, you're an absolute superstar on our team and our program. I just want to commend you for that. And I wanted to bring you on board because you're an absolute inspiration to everyone and what you're doing and what you've done already. And I know you're going to be a huge inspiration to many men around the globe and be able to change more lives. So I just want to know, man, in these past uh, three, four weeks since starting the program, in the busiest time of the year, the most difficult time of the year, which is the holidays, you know, right? Um, what's changed about you and your lifestyle and everything? Well, what really changed is uh, the way I look at food now. Is, um, before all this, I, I, I was just eating anything. You know, I didn't care. I, I worked out, and I was all over the board, you know, and didn't really have any guidance. And so it's like it's a quick fix. Work out, eat tight, good, all of a sudden I had relapse. And so – because just recently, I, I went to the hospital. I almost had a um, kidney failure. So it scared wow. me a lot. And I'll be in my age, about 45. I was like, you know what? I need to change my lifestyle, my health. I need to live longer. So because this program I got on, your program, David, it opened my eyes out to be more cautious of my intake of everything. Wow. And before I could look at label, I'll be, it's like reading Chinese or reading a foreign language. I couldn't understand it. Now I have a better understanding of what I can consume my own body because everyone is different. You know, if I tell somebody, hey, eat this is what I eat, maybe it's not good for them. You know, because I had to teach my body first before I could teach someone else. Right. You know, but, but that's it's But, you know, with this program being dedicated to stay focused, especially the holidays, that's even, that, that's the biggest obstacle. Because you got Thanksgiving, you know, right. who, who don't want to eat a lot of food? You know, that's all about food. Um, Christmas, you know, New Year's Eve, I mean, everything, all these good food. And there's, and I work. And it's hard because sometimes I go to a friend's house and I just reached a, a white Christmas party, a white elephant party. Everybody was eating good food. I went there. All I had was water and vegetable sticks. That's all you eat. And that's all I want to eat because it took me a long time. It's really hard for me to get started. But once you get started, oh, yeah. it's real simple. You know, but don't, don't fall off the, the train. You fall off the train, just remember how hard it is to jump back on. Right, right. And, and I, I don't want to jump back on. I'm getting too old. It's getting harder and harder. So this the time has changed because honestly, tell you the truth, God gave me an obstacle. I overcame it. Right. God gave me an angel. And that's you, David. You oh, came wow. back and helped me. You know, I was like, hey, it, it, these are two signs God gave me <laughs> in my life. You know? I was like, dude, I, 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 it's just like the old saying, don't look the force in the mouth. Take this opportunity. And actually, you didn't push it. You, you said it to me. I looked over it. I'm like, you know what? I pushed myself. You know? You just opened the door. All you do is say, hey, you want to step in, you step in. I did. I stepped in. You know what? No regret, no remorse. I never look back. And it's, awesome. it's not a six weeks program. It's a lifetime journey. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Awesome, man. So out of all that, uh, the one biggest change and the, re the best result you got is what? Oh, um, 
by by edu educating my education. Wow, oh, man, yeah. it's it's a mind mind blower. If you realize what you put in your body, you educating yourself on what to eat, what not to eat, and you'll be so surprised. You know, right. and and, and I, I see myself. I see going from two twenty three, um, about almost like three weeks ago when I first um, started the program to about two fifteen now. I still got a lot more to go. Yeah, you know, and and I have a really busy schedule. I work graveyard, so for me to to implement my workout, my eating habit, and time to get some rest, man, that's the biggest problem I have is rest time. But if I get it in, then I am good. You know, yeah. but yeah, it's just educating yourself on all the aspects that your your program uh, offered to uh, offer to us. Nice, nice, and you've done a lot of transformational changes in every area of your life. I've seen it all, so I'm very proud of you. And um, you know, you like you said, you have a busy schedule. You work graveyard shift. You're a dad. You just recently closed out a new house. You have, you know, you have a wife. You have a lot of great things going on for you. You're a busy man. So you know, it's not like you're working out for you know, all day, 24 hours a day and eating nothing but, you know, nothing, but drinking water. You're actually consuming food and working out. So that can't be the excuse for you. So tell me about your daily lifestyle and you're able to, how you're able to do this. All right. So before your program, David, um, I, I got into jujitsu about a year and a half ago. And so with jujitsu, I would work graveyard. I got up at five. I go home now for two hours, take my son to school and I will go straight to jujitsu for two hours. lacked on the meal plan you know so now after i got with you uh -huh. um i learned how to to stay more focused nice you know not jump all over the board so i, I don't push myself every single day so like right if, if i have uh if i'm assigned to a, a unit that's close to the house right because i'm in law enforcement so if i'm close to that unit then you know what like the past three days when i got off work at five i went straight to the gym Nice. Do hour, hour and a half. That's it. Right. Go home, sleep. Yes. Sleep, wake up and I'll do my thing. Good. You know, eat, eat an eight hour window, you know, eat really good. It's all meal prep. Everything nice. from meal prep from, from my lunch to dinner. And then, of course, I get some rest and I'll go back to work again at nighttime. And on my weekend, you know, I, I could stay a little bit longer at the gym or I could go to the gym a little bit later on because I'm all right. Nice. So good. You, you, you're like time managing yourself. You. You're not trying to do two, three hours for nothing when you get yes, yes. in an hour. So I want uh, I want you to think um, I want you to think back a year ago, right before the program, before this new lifestyle, uh, about what you were doing then. So what were you doing in the past? What were you doing in the past to try to get the results that you're getting today? Uh, let's let's see here. Okay, hey, let me go ahead back 2013 when I, my, I first started to go ahead and, and try to uh, stop smoking, especially stop smoking. I, right. I smoked two packs a day. I stopped. So 2013 is when I first started my Alps course running. So my Spartan race, my half marathon. I did that religiously. Yes. The last two years, um, starting, no, this year, um, I went to graveyard. And okay. so that's when the whole schedule all went out the window. And so, you know, um, like I said, I work out. I do a little bit this and that, but even though it you know, work out is you got to stay focused on what you need to aim for, not go in, talk a lot, you know, run yeah. around. Next thing you know, you just waste two hours. Right. <laughs> most, but the most important thing that you taught me, David, how to eat. Nice. What's good for your body. I mean, people eat a lot, that's them, that's their body. But for guys like me, man, I've been heavy all my life. I mean. I had weight problems since I was in, in junior high. And wow. I, I got to my smallest weight of 185 back in 2000. And that's the last time I saw that weight. And ever since then, I just kind of ballooned up, you know. Uh, I worked out heavy, pushed weights. But still, it's like, it's one of those guys that like to just gain muscle. But I want to lean down more. I want to be healthier. You know, look much healthier. Nice. You know? nice. Uh, but yeah, back then, it's like I said, I was working out, not eating properly. Now. I'm very, very religious on what I eat now. Like today, I ate, I ate sushi, okay? No. But I had to cut out all that rice. It was, it was like, <laughs> I gotta eat sashimi, you know? The edinami, 
I had to, I had to ask him, can you give Edna McNamee with no salt? Good, you know? good. And all that stuff I kind of had to watch, you know, because of, of what you taught me and what I go through and just kind of learn on, my, on this journey. Right. You know, and actually, and some of the guys uh, on the, the, the Legendary Man, what they posted, and I read, I learn, and I just keep on educating myself, you know, and, and it actually feels good because I'm going to sit there and kind of scratch my head like, oh, wait, am I supposed to eat this or not, you know? Right, right. So it's good to have a lot of guys in the same situation that you can help each other out and, and ask questions. Nice. Okay. So does it seem crazy to go back to that old lifestyle? And um, try to do it that way again? No, no. Ah, uh, oh, man, 120%. I would never go back to that way again. <laughs> no way. You know what? Um, I'm getting older. I can't lift as much weight. You know, I'm not these young 20 year old that sit there and throw up like hundreds of something pounds, you know. You know, I, I like to just do my own pace, my own journey. You right. know, I don't need to impress anybody. You know, I'm always impressing my family, you know, impress the men upstairs. Right. You know, that's it. But anyone else, I really don't care. Maybe when I was younger, in my 20s, oh, yeah, right, I right. love this. But <laughs> nah, not, not anymore. Now, I was like, you know what? I would never go back to the way I was um, after this transformation, after this journey, right? I would say I would never go back to what I used to do. Because honestly, I hate bending over, trying to tie my shoe and, and going, oh, oh, my gosh. Yeah. I, don't, I, drop something. I don't want to bend over. I can't. You know, my stomach's in the way. You just posted a picture about your new uniform. What was it about? How many belt holes did you lose now? Or you not? Two. Two belt holes. Oh, man. Uh, I, was, I, I was very depressed because I had to buy a new belt and I had to buy a size 40. And I'm, like, I'm always size 36. So, okay. yeah, so okay. I can actually wear my 36 belt now. You know, nice. I still I go, but it's minus two holes that I, I can use up. <laughs> it's like, it's like I was like, wait, I can go more. And I, I was, I was very, very, very happy about good. this. Good, you know? good. Did it get you down to size 35, size 34, size 33 and get you under uh, 200? Yeah. Man, you, you know what? Like I said, I've been, I've been 200 pounds for about 15 years, you know, and this is past two years. I just blew up to almost a size 40, okay. you know? And so, uh, uh, and uh, to 223 from a 36 to a, four, a size 40, I'm like, oh my God, this is, I hate this feeling. You know? Yeah, shoot, 36, go down to 35, 34, is even better. You know, if I stay at 34, I'd be happy. Last time I saw that was probably in high school. You well, know? We're gonna, you're gonna, we, we have to get you there. Two more inches yeah. off. We, we, about, that's about another 10 pounds, probably, maybe that, less than that. You're going to get there, bro. So what's the biggest thing that helped you on this journey? Uh, would it be the support, the, the uh, group of men, or like the information and knowledge that's been given to you? In order or just? Uh, uh, up to you. Sure. You right. tell me. So you like I said, um, number one, with, with the knowledge, your guidance. That was it, your guidance. You know, your, your determination to get there, you know. Yeah. Once I see that that love, that passion that you have to to for us guys, hey, if you want to put your neck out there, your time out there to help us, you know, why can't we do the same? Right. You know, uh, all, all we do is the old saying, yeah, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. All of a sudden, when it comes to it, ah, I'll do it next time, I'll do it next time. It's always find that excuse. You know? Right. But, but your passion, your passion to help us get there, you know, and then the rest is up to us. And then right. We'll, and then from your knowledge of what to eat, you know, and then from there, because everyone in that group is pretty much the same level. We don't know what's going on. <laughs> you know? We don't. We're, we're confused. Like, hey, do we eat this, eat that, you know? But some of us have more knowledge than others. So that's actually that would be the second thing, you know? We learn from you the first, your passion, and then second is the men helping each other out, you know? You know? And then the only thing we're going to push it out there. Now, depends on our fellow brothers. They want to follow us. Right, you know, right. If they don't want to follow, we can't force them. Right. You know, if they they, they want to learn, they want to prosper, uh, build up, build their it's like temple. They'll ask. That's what I do. I always ask you, you know, ask around, especially ask you, hey, David, look, can I can I eat this? Can I do this? What are your recommendation on this? You know, because I don't want to screw up. You know, I don't exactly. want to take three step back. I want to take three step forward. Exactly, exactly, man. So 
looking at your, I mean, watching this right now and looking at the old you, what would you tell yourself? 